The UFC's heavyweight division is currently stacked right now with Cyril Gaon in the mix, the powerful Sergei Pavlovich, and John Jones who's awaiting to make his heavyweight debut. But there is one guy in particular that I think might be the most dangerous of them all, Sergei Spivak. Now Sergei might be on a lot of people's radars now because of his amazing performance against Derek Lewis last night, but this is a guy when you look at his body of work, you can see that this guy is going to cause a lot of problems for the heavyweight division. Welcome back guys to another video. If you guys haven't hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, and all that, and let's just get into the video. All right, obviously UFC fight night, Derek Lewis versus Sergey Spivak was rescheduled after being canceled the day of all the way back in November. Now this was a big opportunity for Sergey. Yes, Derek Lewis has now been on a streak of losses, but that doesn't stop his name value, right? Derek Lewis is still a huge name, and even after this loss, is still a huge name. And I think because of the losses to Cyril Gaon, Taitui Vasa, you know, Sergey Pavlovich, I think Derek Lewis was looking to come back with this fight, really show off that he's not done yet. And that's why I think he lost a lot of weight going into this fight. I know some people are making memes saying oh he didn't really lose that much weight but you could tell the guy did i mean you could tell that Derek lewis really worked hard in this training camp which makes it all that much harder now that we know the result but leading into this you know i had some faith in Derek lewis although i knew that sergey spivak watching his tape i knew that this guy was an absolute beast but we saw Derek lewis knock out curtis blades which was a fight that curtis blades was pretty much guaranteed to win so let's get into the fight it was pretty short i think one of the things that Derek lewis had to do to win this fight was to push sergey back Derek lewis right away pretty much was going backwards probably afraid of the takedown threat but if you're going backwards against a guy like sergey you're going to get caught you're going to get taken down you're going to get hip tossed so hard that your back is going to shatter and that's exactly what happened eventually Derek lewis and sergey got into a clinch and one thing i will say about Derek lewis is once he was taken down the guy was trying very hard to get up you could tell like i said that this was a fight that Derek lewis did want to win you could tell he really was trying even in there i saw some people say Derek lewis gave up don't say that because the man got up like six times like and i mean when you look at other people that fought sergey i mean look at greg hardy look at ty tuivasa I mean, a lot of those guys just absolutely got dominated on the ground. Derek Lewis was able to get up. And that was kind of something that Sergey did play into because he wanted to keep taking Derek Lewis down. He knew that Derek Lewis's cardio wasn't going to be able to match his, so he decided to drain him early. He was clearly setting up that arm triangle the whole time that they were on the ground. Eventually, he got it. It was in tight, and Derek Lewis had a tap in the first round. And like I said, I was extremely impressed by this performance, and I think Sergey is one of the most dangerous guys in this division. This was the exact performance that he needed to show everybody, hey, I'm that dude. Like, give me some time level opponents give me a top five guy next you know he fought tied to Ivas already you know i would say maybe that fight would make sense but i wouldn't be surprised if we see him get like an alexander volkov or something like that and that might be a tough matchup for him because we haven't really seen him go against a guy that's so much taller than him the only thing is that alexander volkov does kind of freeze up i find against wrestlers he's very underrated when it comes to just stand and bang fights like when you know the guy's not gonna take him down that's usually what he does very good we saw in the jarzino rosen strike fight and the alistair overeem fight when guys are willing to stand with him he is willing to go off he's willing to let his hands go but against Sergey, i'm pretty sure he's going to be a little more hesitant be on the back foot which is not what you want to do if you fight a guy like Sergey. you want to be able to push him back and make sure he's reacting to everything you're doing also Sergey does get a few takedowns off kicks so that might hurt alexander volkov and maybe make him freeze even throwing those kicks now what do you do with Derek lewis now dana white said after the press conference he loves Derek lewis and he's not going anywhere i have no idea what you do with this guy now i love Derek lewis i'm sure everybody loves Derek lewis the truth is i think his time at the top is gone and if we're being honest he never really was that like top level heavyweight he did put together a pretty good streak when he beat curtis blades francis and a lot of those guys that time period was pretty good for him but now i think it's a little bit past if i'm being honest i want to see Derek lewis against a few more strikers you know maybe you didn't make the alexander volkov rematch i know there was talks of that but i want to see Derek lewis against a striker and a guy that's kind of similar with him you know i want to give this guy a shot but i'm just a little bit afraid that the ufc is going to give jalton almeida Derek lewis i mean jalton almeida obviously has been an amazing streak i've shouted him out a lot on this channel i've said hey this guy is legit this guy is a crazy dude and he is i mean i mean i'm doing a video about sergey but yato nomeda is a guy that i am extremely high on i've talked about a million times on this channel i'm really afraid that they're gonna give yet yeah, and almeida him it would make sense ranking wise but yato nomeda would obviously dominate Derek lewis but we're gonna have to see like i said in my opinion i wouldn't mind giving him a guy like jarzino rosenstrike i don't know if jarzino has a fight but that fight would be pretty nice jarzino is coming off of a win though so it is a little bit of a mismatch situation but either way like i said i want to see Derek Derek Lewis against a striker. But that's going to conclude this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought of Sergey Spivak's performance on Saturday night. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about next. Leave comments for the Q&A on Thursday, and I'll see you guys in the next one.